Hello everyone, it's Richard. I want to talk about uh, something that uh, all my videos are all ideas that I believe are fact and in some way they are. You look and search for them on YouTube, you put everything together and it all has a meaning. It all has a, a point, a conclusion, a continuation of truth. I want to put a video on that would culminate and combine all, everything that I feel and think of our life. And it may uh, not include every aspect, but it's enough meat to it to describe to you to kind of let you know what uh, what the what life the meaning of life is and what the what life needs to be and uh, in, in the world that we live in we live in a world where individuals are trying to uh, we, 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 we live in a world of falseness everything is false everything is misleading everything is fake a lot of things are fake a lot of individuals, corporations, food, um, you know, uh, here in America especially, food, um, politics, government, a lot is misleading, unhealthy misleading. Leading people, individuals, trying to project their own individual idealisms, their own, I, their own individual ideas of how the world should be, and trying to project and force on society uh, their own ideas trying to force people to see things their way and to try to force their own ideas and to manipulate others to see a one a one viewpoint world the way a one individual sees a world they want others to see this one little small hole of what this individual has or the way he sees the world, a one, one narrow, one narrow viewpoint of how the world is through one ignorant individual trying to project that one narrow-minded viewpoint and trying to manipulate others to see his world. And it's an individualism. It's an individual idea. And there's a lot of uh, that going on. And I want to talk about specifically uh, internal enlightenment and truth real truth what people don't understand is that you have to journey within your own self and find your own true progression people are trying to look for progression but they're finding it they're finding it in uh, they're finding false progression they're trying to find um, meaning in their lives, their own individual lives, and trying to look for other ways to connect to, to find some sense of progression and some sense, something to connect to, to have a sense of progression in their own individual lives separate from that other progression. Trying to connect with things, which is not wrong, but if you're, but specifically in the homosexual rights, you know, it, homosexual rights people do not know but that it's a narrow-minded path of uh, of um, just a group of, of, of individuals that do deserve their rights but they're trying to influence other people and condition other people to believe in a false progression trying to have other people, heterosexuals and other people that are living their own individual lives, trying to make them believe into some believe in something that they should not have no real connection with emotionally. As individuals, we have to find our own individual path of true progression. We have to find our real progression and the progression of self, the progression of individual self, not of looking outside externally trying to find progression in things trying to find progression in 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 the falseness of uh, of 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 other people's lives it's basically like living vicariously that's the word trying to live vi vicariously 
through other people and trying to find meaning through other people. That's not your own individual self. That's like following the leader and following trends. That's not discovering self. That's not being an individual. You have to, we, as a society, we have to stop living vicariously through the homosexual rights and trying to find meaning in the rights so that we can find meaning within ourselves. We're trying to find meaning in the homosexual rights and to, to, to discover the meaning in, the, in the, on our own individual life, individual selves in our own life. We, 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 we have, what we're doing is we're living vicariously through the homosexual rights, trying to project, project ourselves onto them and trying to live in their shoes and trying to think, well, you know what, you know, we need to fight for them because that gives me meaning. That gives me meaning to help fight this fight with them. But we have to, but the real meaning is finding the progression in your own individual self. Not by letting society, specifically in America, I'm talking about America. In America, we let others dictate how we live. We're already following the styles, the homosexual styles. We're following the mannerisms, slowly, progressively, becoming slightly homosexual, wearing tight clothing, the hairstyles, uh, the eyebrow plucking. We're, we're progressively allowing them to shape us. We're allowing our society has completely buckled and, uh, and allowing this, this, um, this individual idea this this separate this separate thing to influence our individual individuality and our own self progression that's why i talk about telekinesis telekinesis is about many things it's about self discovery truth awakening the penile gland awakening the third eye discovering self connecting with the universe connecting with something more greater and and possibly equal to you so that you will not have to think about the pettiness and the selfishness of the of the materialistic um, flesh of the reality having to hear thoughts and ideas of individuals that are feeble-minded individual thoughts that are selfish and trying to misguide you homosexual rights trying to misguide the the, the the heterosexual people to follow and help them along with their rights and to also let them influence us to shape us into their image when you find your own individual self you rip away from the from the social reality of the US and you discover yourself and you find the peace and order and the correctiveness of your own individual self and homosexuals they have the ability to do this too and still trying to, uh, you know, uh, do um, tricks, pull tricks, trying to pull strings to kind of push the images of homosexual, you know, sexuality and education of homosexuality and the and movies and, and video games and all this other bull, sh bull stuff. They should step back and instead of trying to inf influence their own I individual idea of themselves, their own idea of their own individual self, their own progression of self, their own discovery of self, instead of them trying to influence others to be like them, they should stop and discover themselves as the heterosexuals do with penal, uh, with the penile gland, penile gland, and the third eye, and 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 the chakras. Because you're not because first of all they're failing, they're not following the correct way of being a human being we just discovering this to be a correct human being you have to let others be in their own their own separation of their own individual selves not inflicting not inflicting your own not not having to inflict your own ideas onto others and making forcing them to see things your way that's tyranny that's manipulation homosexuals that that is that is a sign of tyranny trying to inflict your own ideas onto others. Each individual, homosexual or straight, needs to f separate from this idealism, this feebleness of trying to change others and trying to allow yourself to live vicariously through homosexual rights, 
trying to live vicariously through the media or through movies or to movie stars. Separate yourself, homosexuals and straights. Find your own individualism. Find the truth. When, in, when each individual finds their own individual truth, when they see the light in their, in their minds, they find a peace, they find a correctiveness, the order of themselves, then that's when everyone will accept everyone as they are. Black, white, gay, or straight, whatever. But there will not be any forceful influence of, of trying to manipulate others or, or, or neighbors or, or your fellow man to be like you. That's tyranny because you're trying to force others to be like you instead of letting them discover themselves and you discovering also yourself. You know? So that's what Ricky Sispit is and that's the truth. That's the universe. And that is everything. And I may have missed some things, but that's everything in a nutshell and that's everything I have to say. And that is the truth. You can say anything you want to say. You can have, you can say that I'm a bigot or whatever homosexual which um, a, a homophobe or, or anything like that but that's the truth and pretty soon in the future that will be seen as the truth just in time truth will reveal itself and the homosexual and people working behind the scenes how they help the homosexuals get to where they're at the people will rise up and say this is what happened this is how homosexuals got their rights and this is what they did to get their rights corruptly this is Ricky says for this thank you very much